I'm going to show you a special watercolor technique. So if you get paint somewhere where you don't want it, I'm going to show you how to lift that up. Now, when you wash your hands and you go to dry them, I ask that you only use one paper towel and you do not use paper towels for anything else in the art room except for this watercolor technique that I'm about to teach you. You may take one and fold it up. If you get some color onto the paper, let's say you got a little color there and you don't want it there, we want all the color on the inside for now. I'm going to show you how to do something called lifting. Your brush really has to be clean. If this water is dirty, ask me and I'll change it. Or you can wash your brush at the sink. Get it really clean. Press it. You still want some water on there, but press it. And then you're going to rub it on the color you don't want. And then wash your brush. You're moving the pigment into the bowl of water. Wash it really well. You need to press the hair of your brush onto the bottom of your bowl to wash it really well. You can get more because I can still see, I still see paint. Use the paper towel to make sure that you've gotten all the pigment off of your brush before you use it again on your painting. Also use the paper towel to remove excess water from your brush. If you have a bigger area of paint that you want to get off, you should probably get a bigger brush. It's really useful to use that paper towel to make sure that your brush, especially if it's a big one, does not have a lot of water so that the pigment spreads more where you don't want it. You're basically kind of sponging up the extra pigment. That's pretty good. So that's how you get rid of any color that you don't want. All right, I'm going to finish mine and I want you to do your color that you need to work on. Did you really want to hear the Learn to Art intro song? All right, here it is. Hello, my talented artists. And remember to work hard and be nice.